so angry. We said that we were quite the odd gods in a group, we weren't quite fixing and all of a sudden you come here and you, you're thrown into something so unusual <laughs> that you gel and you bond in a way that I don't think I've gel and bonded with anyone. Um, we're all different ages, completely different characters, but I think things like wild camp, jungle camp, the core survey, especially canoeing in general, where you just teamwork, is so hard to achieve sometimes, but it just works. Um, and the physicality of it all just really does well. And I'm, honestly, I couldn't have hoped to have met um, a more amazing bunch of people, really. You mean for wind or rain? We have the beginning of a HF radio set. A battery. And the mic. And the transceiver. Which is the brain. And then James and Sarah are out putting the cable, the antenna out. Hang on. Your height is very useful. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to grill some fish tonight for our supper. And uh, it's made out of bamboo cane, taken from the forest. And uh, we will pop this on the fire, and we are able to grill our fish. And it, it will eventually... Okay, we've got a, uh, a bamboo grill, which we're using to uh, cook the fish. And we're also boiling up some potatoes. And uh, when both of them, we're going to be flaking the fish off the bone, and mixing it with the mashed potatoes and the fried onions and garlic that are in the frying pan. Yeah. Yeah, just get you some more. You want to hold it? Why don't you get everyone up this tree then? Tell me where I can go on the other side. We can go now. There's a break in the middle, so... We have to make some action now. Other figures just straight over. Right. <laughs> uh, my clothes are a bit nice right now, but... Your clothes are a bit manky? Yeah, they're not great. <laughs> they smell like... Well, they're clean, but they smell like wet dog a bit. Clean? Oh, that's what you do with the machete. Andy, where's the flapjack tree? Flapjack yeah. tree? Yeah. Where is the flapjack tree? Infamous tree that no one's found yet. Um, well, we're working out what food we've got so we can plan meals for the five days while we're here. <laughs> Are there any interesting uh, menu plans or recipes coming out of the group so far, Catherine? Um, tomorrow morning we get pancakes, which is good. <laughs> and then uh, tomorrow night it's fish cakes. Good. Wellies have holes in them. So wellies aren't so good, but everything else is body is fine. It's good. It's in the hammock, I was very lucky. But there are a few ups and downs because if you're in the hammock, you're more likely to get bitten by mosquitoes. That is it. Oh, that's the fish. So, how many fish did you catch? Uh, one, two, one, three, two. four, five, six, like fish. Uh, along with uh, a karuasu, which were caught by some of the group on the lagoon just beside our camp here. And what you can see are that the fish have just been cooked using what we call palitos, which are sharpened bamboo sticks. We've attempted to make chili con carne with no carne, which is meat, and no chili. It's chili. <laughs> Looks delicious. So, it's kind of soy stuff for the meat, which is really. You would think. I'm going to lose my socks. Awful. Oh, fuck it. Just amazing. And I remember we went for a swim later, and me and Ricardo went for a canoe in particular. Um, and we just kept canoeing up and up and up. And you have no idea how long or how far you could do it for, but um, very tempting. <laughs> it was just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it was weird because we turned round into this cotcher, which seemed to be quite small, and opened up into this huge blue expanse where the sky was reflecting, the sun was shining. You could see sort of just birds and hear the howler monkeys. Over somewhere in the right, you can never see them.
<laughs> so can you show me where's the leak in the canoe? Uh, just all of this, uh, just this, this bit here mainly. Okay. Um, which we've already tried to put some resin on, which didn't work. And then this stretch here on, on the uh, the ridge of the boat. Right. And where does this canoe need to go? Um, this canoe needs to go up the uh, part of the Amazon River and along one of the uh, smaller smaller streams, rivers, and it comes off of it up to the World Cup. So basically you need it to float. I need it to float. <laughs> Other group are going to go through that experience that they've already had. So there's a big exchange of information and emotion and excitement building as people swap into a completely uh, different stage of the expedition, a different phase. So we've got some who've only spent one or two nights in the jungle who are just about to go out and spend an entire, well, five, five days in the jungle, whereas others are heading upstream to a new location where they'll be able to get on land and they'll have. Uh, it's slightly overcast today, which isn't really giving that away, but hot most of the time. Uh, very little breeze most of the time, and then when the rain comes, it usually comes in a very heavy burst. I think we had over an inch in an hour and a half uh, earlier on in the expedition. So hot and wet and humid, and then once that rain has come through, the sun burns back through the cloud and cooks everything up, and you can see the deck steaming as the water is evaporated. So lots of uh, convectional rainfall. Uh, we just tried. Uh, dig a trench around around where everyone is sleeping to keep the water out um, and uh, to try and make it flow somewhere else. This year has gone so well with the relationship with the Peruvians. Yeah. 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 Awesome, homemade, does the job well. It's got a big middle. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a beautiful middle, look at it. Lobo, Lobo. This is to Tessia calling. Can you hear me? Over. That's why we're not, we're not doing damn yeah, twisty work. But to get around, you need to make sure that you're... <laughs> and we go get bread and we stir it <laughs> That would be my highlight. And just chilling with everybody and taking showers in the rain when it rains real hard. And you getting enough to eat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you going to rice and fish? I'm never going to eat rice again when I get home, ever again. Yeah, spiky. <laughs> want to because Ewan's asked me not to. Um, otherwise it would probably... Uh, basically we've been going off for uh, two days. Uh, we've been doing a transex uh, monitoring the, the macaw population as they move from their roosting ground to their, their uh, feeding grounds. And, uh, <laughs> it goes crazy. In the water, and then right. the thing jumped out of it. And we like laughed and said, oh, it's a caiman, ha ha. And he was like, no, no, it's a caiman. Like, really big. Okay. And then he was like... Well, welcome to uh, <laughs> San Martin. Uh, we're waiting for our breakfast to be cut down from... <laughs> 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 It was an international, so it was UK versus Peru. Well, San Martin, but it was good. <laughs>